The chimera of Greek mythology was a fire-breathing monster with the head of a lion, the body of a goat, and the tail of a snake. Pretty hardcore. This chimera has the face of a rabbit, the beak of a parrot, the fins of a shark, the tail of an eel, and the venomous barb of a stingray. It's also real. Meet Chimera monstrosa, the rabbit fish, a five foot long cartilaginous fish that only gets weirder the longer you look at it. But what is a Chimera? Is it a shark? Is it a sea monster? Is it just a silly little guy? We'll find the answer to all those questions and more as we continue exploring the Tree of Life. Chimera diverged from the ancestors of sharks and rays over 380 million years ago, and although they share some characteristics with their elasmobranch cousins, they're still one of the most unique groups of fish in the deep blue sea. Like sharks and rays, Chimera have a skeleton made entirely of cartilage. But unlike sharks and rays with their free-floating jaws, a Chimera's jaw is fused to its skull. And instead of having rows of teeth that are continuously replaced, they have permanent plates used for crushing and grinding their prey, which grow continuously throughout the animal's life. Their prey consists mostly of mollusks and crustaceans, and once the meal is swallowed, it heads straight for the intestine, because the Chimera has no stomach. Modern Chimera come in three different flavors, the plow nose Chimera, the long nose Chimera, and the short nose Chimera. These three families, together forming the order Chimeriformis, include just 56 known species, but the family tree used to be much larger. Chimera are the last surviving members of subclass Holocephali, and the fossil record of this subclass shows a wide range of diversity in extinct species. Helicoprion, for example, had teeth arranged like a circular saw, Stethacanthus had an anvil-shaped dorsal fin, and Delphiodontus kind of looked like a big sperm. Modern Chimera are weirdos, there's no question. But a lot of that has to do with the fact that they just aren't a very common sight. Most live deep underwater, as low as 8,500 feet down, although a couple, including the rabbit fish, also enjoy shallower habitats. Still, they're not an animal that the average person is ever likely to see, unlike the stars of next week's episode, who include species that can be found in almost every aquarium, species that migrate by the thousands, and a couple of species that are just too damn big to ignore. The stingrays. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on all the social media trash, and I'll see you next Friday. Until then, stay curious, stay connected, and never stop evolving.